Hi, I'm Shabadoo and you're watching BDTV. People think, you know, that this is something that a lot of people don't know. When we came out the we that? came out the No Limit Soldiers, we were hated. We were, we we were turning to the hills, and the red Texas rednecks were turning to the baby faces. Now, now exactly, hey, I saw that. Now you know what was so funny. Yeah. This is the funny thing. People hated the No Limit Soldiers because we was hip hop at WCW. Yeah. The same time, what's his name? John Cena seen us on TV, and he started doing a hip hop thing, and people fell in love with him. Yeah. But you know what? He started though? dressing like us. But you know he what? Acting like us and everything, and people people hated us, but they but they like they, you know they, they like the white guy doing hip hop. I, I never understood that. Everybody who had mm-hmm. that gimmick. And you know, God bless his soul, because he passed away recently. The original OG, New Jack. Mm-hmm. Tell everybody that says watch the podcast and for future wrestling where that gimmick originally originated from. Which one? Which which gimmick? The the, the no limit soldiers, oh. the New Jacks, oh. John Cena. Well, you know, I, I say, let me tell you something. Right now. This is something that somebody don't know. When I joined WCW, we I'm sitting at the table with Kev, Kevin Nash. Um, Ray, uh, what's Macho Man Randy Savage and mm-hmm. and um, Dusty Rose, and they asked me. <laughs> they say, Randy, who do you want to be part of the No Limit Soldiers? The very who do you think of the very first name I asked for? Jack New Jack, <laughs> and they turned me down. And I say, what? They say he's. They say he's too much liable to responsibility. That's what you mean. Because what he, because what he did, Nick Gulas and ECW. Right. And he said, he said, but, he said, Randy, we can't, you can't have New Jack. I said, hold on. You say I can have anybody I want, and when I give you a name, a person I want, you tell me no. And that's what I said. Look, we got somebody that's that, that you can work with. I said, who? His name is. We call him BA, Brad Armstrong. You know, we'll give you. Red Armstrong and Chase to join the team. And I'm like, well, you know, cool. You know, Chase Tatum, you know. And I mean, I was already an Armstrong fan from his daddy, you know. Yeah, from his yeah, dad. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, boy, yeah. so I was like, oh, sure, you know. And that, I mean. I grew up watching Brad. Let me tell you something. Brad was the first son to get. And mm-hmm. New, Jack did a, New Jack did an interview when he went to Kevin Nash. I don't know if you heard of but he told Kevin Nash came up to him. I already know. Hey man, how you doing? And New Jack said, "Man, get the fuck out my face." He's like, "Huh?" He said, "Man, I don't fucking what? play with you." <laughs> because he said, "When Master P and wanted me, you turned, you told them no." You turned me down. Yep. That's when he was booking. Yep. Yeah. That's when Kevin Nash was taking the over the book. Yeah, and I mean, he said, "New." No. The way New Jack said it was, he said, "No, New Jack's a problem." That's a problem. Yeah. What happened was New Jack said, "I, I watch it all the time." New Jack said. I came up and gave you a call behind. He said, hey, buddy, haven't seen you in a long time. He said, hey, we never met. <laughs> That's what he said in the video. Hey, but you want to talk that big boy shit behind my back, mm-hmm. be a man and tell me what you said face to face. He said, if I had heat with you, he said, I could have came and knocked you in your right, head. Right. You know, right. New Jack was real. He, he was. He didn't give a damn about he was. nothing. I trained, with him, I trained with him a few times in Georgia. I trained, and I mean, he is just as crazy as he is. He isn't real. <laughs> yeah, the motherfucker was loaded all the time. He, to be he, he was loaded, you know. I mean, okay, you know, he, he lived that life. You know, he he just loved drugs, you know, and he loved it, you know. And you know, Vince, oh, I got t- big rhymes. Okay, since we on here, and this is something somebody asked me, and you know this story. What's this has nothing to do with wrestling. I was talking a couple of months ago, and somebody brought up the Hulk. Okay. And they say, man, did you see that dude from New Orleans? Man, he's strong as a motherfucker. They call him the Hulk. This dude is big. Oh. I say, man, let me tell you a story. I said, Baby Hulk. I said, I, I ran that motherfucker out the gym one day. They was like, what? You did. I said, you see that shit he doing, pausing and dancing and shit? I said, where you think he got that shit from? He was like, who? I say, ask anybody ever seen me work out 20 years ago who was doing that pause and dancing shit? I said, me. You? And they was like, oh, man, you don't know that yep. dude. I say, ask anybody who worked at Frontier 
on a West Bank, and they, they knew us, you know. And I said, I, I told, I don't, you know, I wish to do the best of luck, but he taking some serious shit. That boy is humongous. He's huge. You gonna kill us? You gonna kill us? You gonna kill us? You gonna kill us? And everybody, you look at all those guys. I'm sorry. Ahead, ahead. You look at all those guys in history on that juice. You start with superstar Billy Graham. You see, he on crutches. Mm-hmm. He's still living, but he, mm-hmm. he got men. You see Don Morocco. Mm-hmm. I saw, I mean, you look at him. Look at Hulk Hogan, decrepit ass. Mm-hmm. Yep. Didn't want to deny it. Talking about he didn't use it. Everybody knew he was on the juice. One thing I respect about Randy Savage, and I really respect a lot of things, because when he died, I cried. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to tell you like a man. Because mm-hmm. I was one wrestler, that was one of the few wrestlers I really wanted to meet. All right. He told people, he went on Arsenio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did it. They gave me a, a case of PMS. I said, you stupid ass. But he did mm-hmm. it. He admitted he did it. John Cena, come on. Look at your fingers. Oh, everybody. Two of my fingers equal his finger. I shook his hand many times. Yeah, he, he's on it. I work with John Cena on a movie set. Yeah, he done it. He, he does you it. don't take that shit. If you don't take that shit, I'm light skinned like I'm up. Mm-hmm. Come on. But, you know, it, it was back, but back in the your day. Your business is your business. You know, back in the day, you know, I mean, that was a thing. You know, I mean, and. You know, it, because you know, got you got to realize, you know, when you're a black wrestler and you go to wrestling school, you got to work harder, you got to train harder, you got to study harder, because you know, right. because I, I don't care nobody say, I still say to this day, the wrestling business is one of the most prejudiced businesses I've ever been in my life. You know, it, 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 I, you know that's just my opinion for what I've seen. They just don't talk yeah. about it. And this, they just don't talk just about it. Just like you, like, you know, it's street. Okay. Hulk Hogan, uh, Ric Flair, and. All the race. No, no, I'm going somewhere else with it. Ric Flair mm-hmm. and. Oh, I know you're talking you know, about. I know you're talking about. And um, Booker, T, Booker T. Those are three people, but I never meet the motherfuckers again. I'm happy. Seriously. I'm not bullshitting you. And that. And guess what? People that's listening to this, you know they want to know now. Hogan and Flair, we know. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. But let me let me get on. Give me a second. You know how amazing how the hip-hop community has embraced Ric Flair? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they really don't know. Yeah. He was he was against the No Limit Soldier John and WCW. He was against it. And not just that. Tell them the story about the little fan, the little black fan that wanna that wanted the autograph oh, yeah. from him. Tell that story. Yeah, look, we, we was going, we, Tell that story. We was going out. And I'm leaving the arena, go to another wrestling show. This little black boy asked Ric Flair for his autograph. And Ric Flair told him no, you know. And I remember telling you know one of the other guys, you know, he wasn't signing the little niggas autograph, you know. And that's what I heard with my own eyes. But you know, he, you know, I heard it myself because again, remember, I was a big time Ric Flair fan until I met him in person. Me too. You know, when I met him in person, I just liked him. You know, and just like. You know, you got to think about this. I'm, you know, we with WCW, and you know, let me address this before we go any further. The, what you the got? thing about Master P, me, and the whole soldiers, the front and Eric Bischoff, you know, in the back is not true. You know, we didn't have no guns. We did. We didn't surround him. I know that. No, that that's bullshit. I know, you know that. I'm like. Ooh. And Eric said that too. Yeah. Eric went on the podcast and said yeah. that. You know, he said that was bullshit. Yeah. And you know what thing? I, I listened to his podcast one time because somebody sent it to me, and he said the nicest thing because somebody asked him, how, "How was how was Big Swole?" He said Big Swole was the nicest person you ever gonna meet. He said I like to talk to Big Swole, see how he doing, and that, that, I, I respect that. You know, I respect mm-hmm. I respect that because I really was professional. <laughs> Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.